The trailer begins with a scene of a typical dance night at a local club or bar. We see Ellie standing with a drink, smiling at a girl whose name is later revealed to be Dina. Ellie is approached by a guy named Jesse, and it's obvious that the two know each other as they start talking. I hate these things. <laughs> Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here. Jesse mentions Ellie's here. old man, it's that is Joel. So we know that Joel is alive. At least for now, he is. Yeah. From what Jesse is saying, we can infer that Joel instructed Jesse to take He's care of man. Ellie as Joel lectured him about sure. his patrols. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. Ellie also says something about Jesse and Dina getting back together, which means she that did. Dina and Jesse might actually be ex-lovers. Hey, what took you so long? Here we oh, see Dina approach the two, and she asks Ellie what took her so Jesse. long, implying that Ellie has just arrived. Hey, don't forget we leave at first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. Jesse asks the girl to get some rest so as they leave at oh, first man. light. I think this was meant for Ellie as we heard before that Ellie is scheduled to go out or maybe the three have gathered here as they're going somewhere in the morning and hence Joel lectures Jesse about his patrols. <laughs> Dina takes away Ellie and they start dancing slowly and it is clear that they have feelings for each other. We see a nervous Ellie smiling awkwardly as Dina gets intimate with her. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. Not. Ellie tells Dina that every guy is staring at her, to which Dina replies that they're jealous as Dina is with her and not with them. Just a girl, not a threat. We think that they haven't confessed their feeling for each other yet, as Ellie mentioned that she's a girl and she's not a threat to the guys. It means Ellie thinks that Dina wouldn't be interested in the girl. I think they should be terrified. After hearing this, Dina says that the guys should be terrified of Ellie, and she kisses Ellie, and it is revealed that Dina has feelings for Ellie. The guys should be terrified because Dina is with someone else now and the guys don't have a chance. The scene changes and we are thrown into the actual game and we see Ellie brutally killing a fucker, the classic old Ellie. We have a few reasons to believe that this scene takes place long after the scene in the bar. We can see that Ellie is more worn out now. She's become a warrior. You can see how she killed the man, the expertise. She's done this before. We have whistles from the enemies. This could be a warning or a signal for help as we see enemies reacting to it. We see Ellie make her way through this jungle, crouching and hiding in foliage. Ellie witnesses the rogues killing a man hanging by his neck. The thugs don't just kill him but literally rip out his guts in a ritualistic sacrifice. The game looks truly brutal. Although I'm wondering how the animations for Ellie's death look like. Would they rip out her guts too? That would be gross. We hear another whistle. This one is a warning as the thugs extinguish their torches and the leader tells them to spread out. Maybe they found the body of the guy that Ellie killed in the beginning and now they know that someone is here. We see Ellie making her way into a multi-level car parking where she encounters more members of the cult. Like the previous game, there is heavy emphasis on stealth in this one too. We get our first look at the inventory. We see a gun, Molotov cocktail, first aid kit and smoke bombs. It is interesting to know that there are two indicators next to the bow indicating that maybe we'll have different types of arrows in this game. Killing enemies stealthily can give you a one shot kill. And as we know, conserving your ammunition is of utmost importance in The Last of Us as you don't know where you might need it. Another interesting thing is that the woman calls Ellie Wolf. It means that Ellie has been killing these thugs for quite some time now and has made quite a name for herself. 
We get our first look at the brutal melee combat system of this game that looks a little like Uncharted's melee combat system with a close-up of over-the-shoulder camera. Ellie runs for her life and is clearly outnumbered and this points towards the difficulty level of the game and the need for a strategic approach. Her ferocity earned her the name Wolf and maybe these thugs are even afraid of the wolf. This is one of the reasons why we believe that this part of the game takes place long after the night in the bar. Ellie can now crawl under big vehicles like trucks to take shelter and to surprise her enemies. The game has added new features for additional stealth such as getting under such vehicles and hiding in bushes or tall grass or foliage as you call it. Naughty Dog has paid attention to every small detail. Look at how Ellie removes the safety of her gun before firing it. Classic old Ellie. One of the best things about Last of Us is that resources are scarce. Bullets are limited and if you're not careful with your inventory management, you could wind up in a sticky situation like this one. As it is evident by now, The Last of Us Part 2 is a very fast paced game. You have to keep moving and you have to think on your feet. Another addition to this game is the use of human shields. Ellie can take people hostage to exit a difficult situation but the cultists are not hesitant to kill their own. The human shield won't last long. Here we see Ellie taking out a crossbow bolt that hit her shoulder and it is clear from her facial expression that she is in agony. The amount of detail in this game is mind blowing. Ellie is outnumbered 3 to 1 with no ammo and has nothing but her instincts to make it out of here in one piece. As mentioned earlier, we have different types of arrows and here we see Ellie crafting an explosive arrow. We also see a silent pistol. It would be nice to have different types of arrows as playing with one arrow can get a little frustrating. For example, the explosive arrows that we see in this game take out two enemies instead of one. The impact of the explosion kills one and knocks out the other one. Here we get another look at the melee combat in this game. It looks like the melee combat could make use of some quick time events. Another small detail that Naughty Dog has added is that Ellie is limping. The force of the impact was such that she was injured. Here we can see that Ellie is tired and is injured so her bow is also shaking, it's not stable so it gets harder to aim. These are the small details that make a good game a great game. The man in his last moment says that this is sacrifice land, hence improving the chances of him being a part of a cult. The evil cult could be the fireflies as well. We know that Ellie was scheduled to leave with Jesse and maybe Dina was going to accompany them. Maybe they got ambushed by this cult and Ellie lost both of them and now seeks revenge. Maybe they killed Dina or Joel. We still haven't seen Joel so nothing can be said about him. Another theory is that when Dina and Ellie are dancing, Dina is wearing a bracelet. In another scene, Ellie is seen wearing the same bracelet. Maybe Dina dies and Ellie is avenging her death. Well, that's all for now. Sony hasn't announced a release date yet and we expect more details in the coming days. If you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button, share this video and subscribe to The Brown Gamers.